nice to get out on the bike again. It's been a few weeks since I've been on it last. A bit more video in. Roads are packed as normal. Get in here and get some fuel. Big old tank, this actually weighs a ton when it's full. You can't half tell the difference. The little yellow lights to tell me that my service is overdue. Well, it's getting done today, so service and MOT, let's do it. Busy, busy, busy roads. Well, I suppose you have to go to work. I think what I'll do, I'll go down the M69 and up the A5. God for that, motorway is great for getting about bikes, but man, they're boring. The A5 Blues. Last time I came down this road, there's a bike store down here. It's a big, big like, bike warehouse, really nice. I think. It, I think we've passed it, but it could be down here a little bit further. I think this is it here on the uh, right-hand side. It's before I got this bike, I was wondering if I was actually looking for this bike. There it is, over there, look, that building there. Complete motorbikes, that's what it's called. Really good shop, really nice people that work there. Very helpful. They've got new bikes as well as second-hand bikes. I was looking for a GS at the time. And they had a really nice one, which I nearly bought, to be fair. Um, second-hand, just wasn't quite right. And then I saw this one and uh, basically just snapped it up. Yeah, it's well worth a visit if you're looking for a motorcycle. Hinkley A5, it's well worth a look. We've got some really good bikes in there. Of course, this uh, this isn't a million miles away from the uh, Triumph factory. You've got Barwell up the road. This next island I'm coming to. Then you've got the, uh, the Triumph assembly factory up there. And I think you've got the Triumph, mu there's a Triumph museum up there as well somewhere. Get around this bloody lorry, a bit of filtering. Oh, this road's terrible. Nice room to pull over for me. You're always busy here, no matter what time of day you come, this road is like well used, very well used. Just sort of up to this, this junction here, because you're coming into um, the Neaton here. I've got a feeling the speed cameras up here. So anyway, going to Long, is it Long Eaton? Roy Pidcott's, my service and MOT, first service I've done on this bike. They offer, a, they do offer a courtesy bike while your white bike's being uh, serviced, but um, I was speaking to the lady there, wondering if they had the new GS, and they said, yeah, yeah, we've got a demo bike. I thought, great, it's brilliant, so I'm gonna have a demo bike. I'm having the 1300 demo bike when I get up there which is great, one more, one more bikes being serviced. But watch these islands, I just do not like islands. Especially on busy roads like this, you've got a lot of, a lot of lorries and cars. They spill their oil everywhere, diesel, what have you. Yeah, so anyway, I'm uh, gonna borrow this Z Z30. Where are we getting a Z13 from? That's a flash from the pan. I'm gonna get this GS1300. And, uh, give it a blast. Me and Steve up here, he's going to take me for a, a little trip and try it out. So I'll, I'll hook the cameras up and we'll give it a go. See how it goes from there. I think we 
just about here now. I'll do a right turn onto the treble four, the A treble four. I think there's a pub just on the left as you turn onto the treble four. I think Steve's going to be waiting there for me. It's one of them dreaded cameras. Horrible things. Looking like a bit of indication there, mate. Get your bloody finger up at somebody. Oh, there he is. Sorry, it's on the right hand side as you come around this oil. Turn into this. Good morning! How you doing? Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, won't you? 